So thank you, Ben, for the introduction. Um, I'm Hen Chen. So um, last year, together with the, my colleagues from tolerance management and also with the support of DCS, we try to work on the topic and the modeling approach for elastic tolerance simulation of the body wide unknown parts. And it was a really um, nice experience. And also I'm very glad to hear um, to introduce this topic. So in this presentation, I will introduce five parts. The first part is an overview of the current problems we have for the tolerance analysis and during the manufacturing processes which is also the motivation to initiate this research work. And uh, in the second part, um, there's a, there is a comparison of the existing approaches for the tolerance simulation in the automotive industry. So then I will introduce the concept to address our problems, which is here the elastic tolerance simulation. After then, I will introduce the, the application of this concept in the industrial scenario studies including the modeling procedure and the comparison of the simulation results with the real measurement data. So finally, there will be conclusions and outlook. Okay, so let's start the first part. Um, so the tolerance analysis becomes more and more important in the automotive industry nowadays. It is, it is used to analyze the manufacturing the manufacturability of the complex assemblies in an early stage to reduce the, the product development time and the cost for the hardware prototypes. So regarding the body wide handle parts like the fender or the door, the bonnet and the trunk lid, usually the rigid tolerance simulation is implemented to calculate the tolerance stockups in the assembly process. However, the rigid tolerance simulation approach, approach has a shortage in fitting to, a, to the reality because all the parts in the simulation system are assumed to be rigid and uh, the influence of the manufacturing processes on the, the assembly deviation is not considered in the simulation model. So now by introducing the FBM simulation, we have the possibility to involve the elastic and deformation in the tolerance simulation model but a proper modeling approach still needs to be worked out and validated, especially for the, the real engineering parts with complicated geometries. Therefore, in this work, I will, I will introduce an approach to build up an elastic tolerance simulation model with, a 3D, with a 3 dcs and also a comparison of the simulation results with the measurement data. So, as the state of the art, here is a comparison between three existing approaches that is popular and applied uh, in the automotive industry to simulate the tolerance behavior. First, we have the FEM simulation approach um, for the nominal condition or, the, or some extreme conditions. With this approach, um, the user is capable to simulate the flexible parts and uh, we can obtain um, the simulation results for every mesh node and element. And however, the modeling process and also the calculation process of, of FEM can be very time consuming, especially when we're dealing with um, some very large uh, models or the models with very complex and complicated geometries. And um, maybe sometimes it will take like days to get a single result. And also the part tolerances are usually not considered because we only change the boundary conditions. We don't um, consider the, the tolerance uh, distributions of the parts. Um, so besides, we also have the rigid tolerance simulation, um, which has a relatively simple and fast modeling process. But as mentioned before, the simulation the results does not fit to the reality uh, when dealing with the compliant um, parts um, and also consider the manufacturing processes. So now we also have the, another um, option, which is elastic tolerance simulation. And with elastic tolerance simulation, we are also able to 
uh, simulate the flexible parts like in the FEM simulation and uh, the whole tolerance range and also the tolerance um, distribution of parts can be considered in the simulation model. But since we are talking about um, the elastic, therefore only the linear elastic effect uh, is considered in the simulation model. So from the comparison, we can see that um, the elastic tolerance simulation approach seems to have the advantages of both FEM simulation and the statistical tolerance simulation. And that's also the reason we are using this, we are trying to use using this uh, method to solve our engineering problems. <clears throat> 